is the impacts treated you? Uh, the first couple of days, it was good. It was really good. You know, the defense, again, when we, when we not in pads, you know, they all think they can tackle until we put on pads, and we can see who actually can tackle. But other than that, my body feels good, and I'm ready to go. You're, you're more of a physical runner. Do you, do you really like to be in pads and be hitting guys and trucking linebackers? Yeah, I'd rather be in pads and just go. Because, you know, running back, we really can't show what we got until we get into pads. So the days where we just in helmets and shells, you know, we really you, we really can't show what we really got. You know, it's, it's, well, for guys like myself, you know, guys, physical runners, you know, inside zone runners, we can't really lower our shoulders how we want to. But the pads are we cool. I couldn't say that after the first day of pads that there were guys out there trying to pop them on offense. Was that, were you one of those guys? Yeah, I, was, I know I was one of those guys for sure. I was trying to get after them because, the, you know, the first couple of days they all talk and then, you know, it just builds up, builds up. So, you know, the first couple of days, uh, the first day of pads, you, you always want to make that statement, you know, that first carry when you're running the ball. You want to, instead of like, sometimes for me, instead of like getting a bigger run, I like just going straight at a defender, you know, just, just to make that statement that, you know, I'm ready to run. What, what are you seeing from some of the young guys behind you, like Jack and Denzel? Jack and uh, Denzel. Jack is strong. Jack is very strong. And uh, Denzel's going to be real good. Uh, he, he picked up the offense real fast. Every time he came in, he was willing to work. And so was Jack. You're going to come into this camp and don't know you're going to be the number one guy to feature back. Uh, how have you treated this, this first week uh, compared to last year's? Uh, this first week, I just kind of like just uh, lead by example with the running backs, you know, just um, doing everything full speed, trying to, try to do everything correct, get in the film room as early as I can, and uh, keep learning so I can uh, teach them guys while we're out on the field, not just go shoot, but I can help teach them too. And you came into camp, I think, about 20 pounds lighter this year than you did last year. Do you, do you notice a difference there, and are you becoming uh, less fatigued? Yes, yeah, I'm less fatigued. I'm breaking more tackles. I believe I got stronger. I, the way that I was playing, I feel like I got stronger, quicker on my feet, and I'm, I'm fitting in the tight holes to make bigger plays for the offense. And I know that process started for you during last season, losing the weight. What exactly were you doing with your diet and with your conditioning to, to get the weight off? Well, really, I was just, I was pretty much eating the same thing, but just less less of it and then a lot of water and then when we come out here and do drills and stuff I'll make sure I get some extra work in I'll uh, just do some gags on the sideline or just hit some lunges just doing extra just to lose that weight and get in shape you feel like you'll be better when you kind of get to the second level you can start breaking away from guys more so than you did last year yes I felt yeah because last year I was just like you know 250 I was using my frame just to pound pound guys and this year I want to be able to break those long runs those when it's third and three or something Everybody's up to line, just break that big old run off the, the run that I wasn't able to break up last year. And you're still confident that, that despite losing the weight, you can still be kind of a bulldozer on the fourth and ones on the goal line? No doubt.